Hey everybody, Jim and Kim here with another great message for you. Hey guys, how are you doing? So today I was spending time with God and he led me to the book of Matthew. And in Matthew and in the Bible, it's repeated several times where it says, you know, what is impossible with man is possible with God. Yeah. And God was saying to me that a lot of us don't believe that God can do the impossible in our life. I mean, we just don't have that faith to know and just in our core believe that he can really do the impossible in our life. Yeah. And it's sad because we limit the blessings and miracles because of our lack of faith. And reading further, um, faith was such a huge thing with Jesus. I mean, and it gives us two great examples. Um, one of them, a lack of faith, was Jesus' hometown Nazareth. Yeah. I mean, it says in the Bible that Jesus could do hardly any miracles in his hometown. His own hometown. His own hometown because they didn't have the faith. Yeah. I mean, they didn't have the faith to believe that he was this amazing man. They just saw him as the carpenter's son, right. which is just so sad. They limited their miracles and their healings because of that. But then on the opposite end of the scale, there was this Roman soldier who wasn't even the Hebrew or, you know, yeah. the, the children of Israel. This was like a Gentile. I mean, and the Bible says that Jesus just marveled at his faith. And Marvel. when marveled, I mean, right. Jesus marveled. So the story goes is that, you know, this soldier comes up to Jesus and he says, my servant, I believe, is paralyzed. Um, will you heal him? And then Jesus responded. He says, sure, of course, you know, take me to your house and I'll heal him. And this is what impressed Jesus so much is the soldier says, all you have to do is say the word. And I have the faith that he will be healed. Yeah. And Jesus just marveled. How awesome is that? And it's just awesome at his faith. So, you know, if you guys are lacking faith and, and you don't have the faith that Jesus can do the impossible in your life, what I want you to do is take the first step. And I want you to write in the comment section below, Lord, increase my faith. I want you to type that in the comment section as you reaching out for God to, and the Holy Spirit, right. to increase your faith so you'll see God working more in your life and you'll see those blessings and miracles more abundant in your life. Yeah. And let me leave you with this verse. This is from Matthew 21, 22 that tells us, and whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith. Yep. Faith is very big with Jesus yeah. and God. We hope this encouraged you guys today. Please leave your comments down below and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.